It's official. The 12-year EF5 drought is over. After nearly three months of forensic analysis, the Enderlin, North Dakota tornado from June 20th has been upgraded to an EF5. It was part of a powerful derecho that blasted through the northern plains, producing 100 mile per hour winds across North Dakota and western Minnesota. This marks the first EF5 since Moore, Oklahoma in 2013. This 12-year gap is the longest stretch on record without one. Survey teams initially rated the storm as an EF3 or higher, but a deeper dive into some of the significant damage indicators pushed it to the top of the enhanced Fujita scale. Those indicators include a fully loaded grain car being derailed, an empty tanker tossed nearly 475 feet, and maple trees completely torn up by the roots. The storm claimed three lives, unfortunately, and its upgrade has been sparking big conversations in the weather community on if some of these past storms over the last few years should be reevaluated, such as in Mayfield, Kentucky, where winds were powerful enough to completely level entire city blocks. The candle factory was obliterated with debris carried nearly 130 miles downstream. Or Rolling Fork, Mississippi, where homes were swept clean off of foundations, vehicles were tossed long distances, and trees were stripped completely bare. Or we could look at Greenfield, Iowa, where the tornado carved a path of total destruction. Steel beams were twisted and thrown and homes were reduced to concrete slabs. The Enderlin upgrade has everyone in the weather world asking, what else might we be missing? Do we take another look at those storms just mentioned? Or is it time to rethink how we rate tornadoes altogether? One thing is for sure, the EF5 drought is over, but this debate is far from finished.